Hey guys, what's happening? I'm Steve from GraphicDesignerTips.com. In today's video, I would like to address um, the recent changes Adobe has made to piss a lot of its users off, including myself. Um, I'm going to be talking about the Adobe Creative Cloud, or what's known to be as Adobe CC. Now, let's jump back into history real quick to educate you a little bit. For many, uh, not many years, uh, you know, the last 10 years, we've all been really used to CS, which is Creative Suite. We had CS, then we had CS2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. Now, when I started making my YouTube videos, my tutorial videos, I was still using CS3 because as a college student at the time, these programs are way too expensive to continue to upgrade. And, you know, these programs are thousands of dollars. We've all known that. And it doesn't make sense to buy the individual program because it's almost as much as the bundle that it comes with. So... I was buying bundles at you know seven hundred dollars a pop, and those were still about seventy five percent off because I was a student. So I didn't upgrade my software since CS three. So CS four, CS five, and then CS six came out, and I basically I'm missing all these tools. I'm missing Content Aware in my Photoshop. I'm missing artboards. I'm missing uh, gradients on strokes in Illustrator. This is a problem for me as an artist. So when the Adobe Creative Cloud came out, I said, "Wow, you know this is really really going to solve a lot of my problems." In a nutshell, what the cloud is, is it's two areas. It's an actual cloud where you can save your files on this machine right here, and you can have another team member at another station open that same file and work on it. Or you can open it on another office or station yourself. The other part of that is the fact that you have access to every single Adobe program. I'm talking about Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator, um, Dreamweaver, Flash, uh, InDesign, um, Professional. And now all these new programs, there's about 20, between 20 and 30 programs, a bunch of them are tablet only programs. You know, you're getting all these new programs too. You're getting Edge Animate, you're getting uh, Adobe Muse and a bunch of other ones that I haven't had a chance to jump into yet, but they look pretty cool and they could probably help me add services to my business. All right, so with everything, the services, the cloud, it's very appealing because it's a monthly subscription and it's pretty low. I pay $30 a month because I was able to upgrade from an older version. As a new customer, you pay around $50 a month. So like I said, yes, it sounds very appealing, especially if you're a business owner and you know, you're using this as a write-off, you know, hey, oh, it's only $600 a year and I'm producing work that's pulling in, you know, thousands of dollars a year. But as somebody who's starting out trying to grow their business or somebody who's a hobbyist or somebody in college just trying to get a copy of Photoshop, just trying to be updated with a, you know, uh, a version of Illustrator. Guess what? They're going to be forced to pay all this money for all these other programs that they don't really need. And, you know, why can't Adobe say, hey, you know, rent Photoshop, uh, you know, five, ten dollars a month. Instead, you can rent each individual program for like twenty dollars a month, which is retarded because, you know, you can rent the whole thing for, you know, just a little bit more. That's how they're getting you. You know, it's, it's the big value in it. But um, so what Adobe has done recently and that's what this video is about. So I've given you the history and everything, how great it was, yada, yada. What Adobe has done recently is said, you know what? And they, they net profit uh, over a billion dollars last year. Adobe has basically said, you know what? We don't want to license you software anymore. You're not going to own your software anymore. We're going to take you all onto this creative cloud and you're not going to own software anymore. So basically, once you cannot afford to pay your creative cloud anymore, you're going to lose it. You're going to open up your program, your Photoshop, and it's going to say access denied because you couldn't pay that monthly subscription. And like I said, a lot of us do it as a hobby. Some of us don't do it to make money. So that's a problem. Um, the next problem is everything that you have saved on your creative cloud, you're going to lose. Now, me personally, I've been having, I had the creative cloud for a year now. I haven't used the cloud at all. I would find the crowd, the cloud uh, better to use with Teams, and I don't use you know anything with Teams yet, so with other people. So... Um, what you could do is, you know, a solution to that is you could save your files down to an older version, like a CS3, and in case you can't pay your Creative Cloud anymore, you have all your files. But think about this. When is it going to get to the point where Adobe catches on, you know, or if they, I'm sure they've thought about this already, that we're not going to let you save down to these older versions anymore. And, um, I mean, I don't see how that could happen, but that's a way, in a way, you can kind of prevent you know, losing your files and stuff like that in the end, but you're going to lose access to all your programs. So Adobe, obviously it's no question. They have cornered the market because where are you going to design, where are you going to do photo editing? Where are you going to design vector files like you can in Illustrator? Where are you going to use Dreamweaver and Flash and stuff like this? Adobe Professional, check your PDFs as a printer. Where are you going to be able to do all this stuff? Adobe 
is everything. It's all about Adobe right now, and they know that. And uh, so they're trying to drag everybody over to this this uh, this whole thing. And it's not a bad thing. What I would like to see is I would like to see rent to own. I don't want to pay this software six hundred dollars a year times four years. We're now over two thousand dollars. All right, you know, I I chose to upgrade what I wanted to when I was at CS2 to CS3. And I chose not to upgrade because of the prices years after. So, you know, why don't Adobe make it so we can rent this for a certain point and then own it? Or maybe they can see how long we've rented certain programs so we can own them. All right, so in wrapping up, I just want to say the Adobe Creative Cloud has its advantages and its disadvantages. It looks very appealing. You're paying a small fee to have all these programs access to everything, even the cloud. But once you stop paying that fee, you lose access to everything and potentially everything that you have saved on your cloud. So let me know your thoughts and your opinions on how you feel about this. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, there are petitions and everything out there. Um, but you know, it's, I hate to sound like, you know, like this is how it is and this is what we got to deal with. But uh, like, I like, I said, I like certain features. I like the fact that when I open up my programs, it automatically updates with new tools, new features, stuff like that. That's very appealing to me. And because I have business coming in right now, you know, it, as a write-off, it's okay right now. But in the future, you know, what's going to really um, be a – if this happens in the future, like where they start separating bundles, where you have a design bundle and a web design bundle, that's not going to be okay. So I don't know if that's happening. I don't think that's going to happen. But, you know, we'll see what the future holds. Everything changes and evolves. But let me, like I said, know your opinions below in the comments. Like this video. Share it out on your social networks if you feel like it was helpful and informative, and click the subscribe button right here. And I'll see you guys next time for another informative video from graphicdesignertips.com. Peace.